Hey, I'm Brian Curtis, and this is Searching for Cinderella, presented by Old Spice. Well, if you're searching for Cinderella, you might want to take a look in Cincinnati, where the Xavier Musketeers just might have a deep NCAA run in them. Currently, they stand alone at the top of the Atlantic 10 and are poised to win the conference. They've got an RPI of 8 and a strength of schedule of 25, and the NCAA Tournament Selection Committee will surely award them a top four seed. Now, they have wins over the likes of Indiana, Dayton when they were healthy, and Kansas State, and they can win on the road, as evident by 18 wins at UMass and Rhode Island. Now, Xavier is led by forward Josh Duncan, who averages close to 12 points per game and grabs five boards per outing. Drew Lavender anchors the guards and logs over 30 minutes a game with a terrific assist-to-turnover ratio. As a team, Xavier shoots the ball well from the field and from three-point land. They can go inside or go outside, and that makes them dangerous. The ability to win games away from home is also key. So keep an eye on the Xavier Musketeers as the big dance approaches. Searching for Cinderella shouldn't ignore the trees. That's right, the Stanford Cardinal are 21-4 and are in the battle for the Pac-10 crowd with a 10-3 record. This is Coach Trent Johnson's best team so far in Palo Alto, and he's quietly built an impressive NCAA resume. The RPI is top 25, and the Cardinal have wins over USC, at Washington State, and they swept the University of Arizona. Now, a showdown in early March against UCLA could decide the regular season Pac-10 champion. If there is one criticism of Stanford, it was for a weak non-conference slate, which has hampered their strength of schedule overall and included an early season loss to Siena, though that was without one of the big Lopez boys. Still, Johnson has the Lopez brothers down low, with Brooke Lopez averaging 19 points per game and pulling down close to eight rebounds each time on the floor. Guard Anthony Goods chips in close to 11 points per outing. If Stanford can finish first or second in a tough Pac-10, that should tell you all you need to know about their tournament chances. So keep an eye out west as you search for Cinderella. And that wraps up this week's edition of Searching for Cinderella presented by Old Spice. Thanks for joining me.